Hi, this evening is Mrs. Mark Majeko Dumi Rachel. She's a 49 year nurse who has been suffering from arthritis in all of our joints since 2019. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for salvation of my soul. I thank God I was invited to this crusade and I thank God that I was here yesterday. I, 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 God brought me, and by the time I was going home, the Lord has healed me. I got total freedom. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The second testifier is Miss Kendi James. She's 36 years old. She's been suffering from abdominal pain and was diagnosed as having ulcer since six years ago. Praise the Lord. Let's speak louder, Praise please. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Kemi. I, was, I came from Lagos, from Shogule District. I've been toying with Osa for a good six years. To the extent I was not, I can't able to burn down or to ease myself. Daddy, so daddy, yesterday night, daddy said if you want, because I was a little quiet Christian. So daddy was preaching. I was taught, I was moved with the preaching. So I just raised up my hands and give my life to Christ fully. After I finished praying, giving my life to Christ fully, I, I laid my line onto the stomach of the ulcer. I just, because they put me in food that I should stop eating pepper. I don't always eat pepper. Only sometimes rice and oil. But uh, suddenly I pray that God, if you really call this daddy, I always hear testimony about this daddy. There was one time I went to um, Portacos for my youth service. I had a testimony about how God blessed them, about this program. And I laid my hand on my stomach that God, yeah, I know you really call it our daddy in the Lord. And I pray yesterday night I went to sleep and I, th I, I had a dream that I saw that it touched my stomach. I have to go and buy pepper and I eat it. I can jump up, I can bend, and I can eat myself very well. Praise the Lord. Praise the Put Lord. Put your hands together for Jesus. Six years of agony are gone. And now by the grace of God, altar has disappeared. You can go ahead and eat whatever you want to eat. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. That is the goodness of the Lord. More testify now. Praise the Lord. She's, she's Mrs. Esther, as she has said. She's been suffering from chest pain from occupational hazard. And she said in the course of this crusade, God has done something for her. You can testify. Praise the Lord. Mutupe lo wo lorun ni akoko fi igba la kan mi ni ati bi osu bi mefa seyin di di o toru ise ti mo nse mo ma n gbe nkan so igba ati bi osu mefa seyin mo sha ni mo lara pe aya ndun mi o n pe mi so gba mi ran lo gba mi ase ko sha ti en fun mi ni pe kini sugbon nigbati soju yi nbo ati je ta ni mo ti wa ni bi ojo je ta yen na mi ti e ti guru gbogbo aya yen pata pata gbogbo orora yen o ti pare o si ti lo ni oruko jesus six months chest pain healed by the lord and now she's free put your hands together for jesus christ again things are happening on this mount and your own will happen tonight in jesus name say it louder amen Next testify. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I'm Balogun Esther. I'm from Akpata. Oh, it happens that when I was coming this evening, um, I took bike from Akpata bus stop to uh, Mokola. So on getting to Mokola bus stop, I, I was about to, uh, to take another bike so that was how a guy was running after me i didn't know so the guy was running after me so he, he just opened you no know, gently opened my bag and removed my phone i did not know and i didn't notice it so when i was about to enter the um enter uh, cab the man asked me that well uh, sister your phone is uh, your bag is open hope nothing has missed from your bag 
So I just look at it, check my bag, and I saw that my phone has been missed, and I shouted, my phone, my phone, my phone. So the guy quickly ran, and he wanted to cross to the other side. I didn't he has crossed, I wouldn't have seen him again. So there was this uh, trailer coming, so he couldn't cross. So the man just said, hope is this not your, this is not for, this is not your phone. He just went after the guy and collected my phone. So the man now came back, now started beating him. All those guys at the bus stop there, they beat him. In fact, all, all the blood all over his body. So even me, I will pity him. Then I said I should take him to um, police station. I said, no, I'm not here for that. I'm in a hurry. I'm going to a program and I must not. Um, missed the program. So I now said I can't take him to um, police station. So that was how I left. And those people were not like, ah, you cannot take him to police station. Please take him to, I said, no, I can't take him to police station. So I give God the glory for collecting my phone because there are lots of things in this phone. And if I'm to buy a new one now, I know how much it's worth. I give God the glory. Thank praise you, Jesus. The, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We want to go online now uh, for Striking testimonies, please. And all those who are helping us to arrange things, give us striking testimonies, please. Online testifiers, we're waiting for you. We have great testimonies happening online. We'll take you straight to South South Nigeria, Calabar. South South Nigeria, Calabar, live. While we try to get through to Calabar, we would now give you some of the striking testimonies we're receiving from the social media. From the GS Facebook page, we have this testimony from Lawani Severini. She has a sister who's been in coma in the hospital, but last night that coma was paralyzed. After the ministration of our father in the faith, she was following their broadcasts on radio. She decided to come near and hold the radio and pray because she is a journalist. But as the, the power of God was released through the prayer on the radio, she just came out of coma and also gave her life to Christ and is now free and whole. Praise the Lord. We also have this testimony from the GS Facebook page. Obadiah Oluwadari, an eight-month-old baby, had been seriously sick for about two weeks now until yesterday. That sickness was also paralyzed. He has been experiencing excessive hotness of the body, incessant vomiting, anemia, and insomnia. He has taken 15 different injections with almost no difference at all. But after being injected by the prayer of the man of God last night, all that problem simply disappeared. We are told that in the hospital, they shouted hallelujah on discovering the power of God upon that child. We now take you to Auchi. We take you to Auchi, also in South South Nigeria. Auchi live. Praise the Lord. My name is Benjamin Idoni from uh, Auchi region, Edo State. Praise the Lord. Uh, last day, uh, my name uh, is October, Benjamin Idoni from uh, Auchi region, Edo State. Life. I was having a lot of pain in my body. My name and I was having a lot of pain that was going to be a good time. I was having a lot of pain in my body. My name is Benjamin Idoni from Auchi region, Edo State. I was having a lot of pain in my body. The man of God prayed. God having it. I all my sickness, everything, also everything. So so that time, the very first time, I will take prepare anything at all. Everything gone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
campus fellowship Ibadan. I'm here to testify for the goodness of God, what God did for me. In September, I went for a conference, and after the conference, I hate moi moi, and I was having running stomach. So I thought it was just normal running stomach. I don't know it was something else. That day, the pain was so severe. I had to call my pastor. I said, this is what is happening to me. They said, okay, I should go to the hospital. But after some time, the thing calmed after I finished eating. So the pain persists. So they said, I have to still go and see the doctor. I should not do self-medication. So I went to Jaja, University of Ibadan Hospital. And I saw the doctor and he said, it's also, he gave me drugs, he gave me injection. And I was like, God, this is a very terrible thing. Somebody will be full, and the thing will still be paining me. I'll be sitting in my room, I'll be crying, I'll be eating. In fact, I said, I'm tired of eating. God, deliver me from this thing. So in the, in the October Global Crusade, I prayed. I said, God, you've been doing it for people. I don't want to live with this thing. I want to have a flat stomach. How can I be eating everything I see? God, heal me. It didn't happen there. But I remember pastor saying, after the crusade, let your faith be high. Something can still happen. So I kept on holding to that word. In November, I came. I kept on holding to the word. I said, God, I've been hearing testimonies of also patients getting their early. So after November Global Crusade, till this moment, I can no longer feel that pain. I can fast from morning till evening. In fact, on the other day, I didn't eat till around four because of so many work on my table. I could stay. The pain is no longer there. I can eat everything. In fact, praise the Lord. And I also want to thank God on behalf of my father. He was sick for over three months. But in September Global Crusade, God did the last miracle for us. Praise the Lord! Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. If you are expecting signs and wonders for yourself, put your hands together for Jesus. If you know tonight is your own night and all your desires to be granted by the Lord, As a sovereign praise for us, that you have to rejoice more than this. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Now the choir. 